guys, what's up? Well, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Seamus. Seamus is my video marathon for December and I will have a new video up every single day, last day being December 23rd, my birthday. Before we get into the video, I want to encourage you guys to head to my Instagram, do me a solid if you could, and follow me on Instagram. I have some gift card giveaways coming up, possibly even just Venmo giveaways. I'm trying to figure all that out right now. The best way to get you guys the money might just be Venmo, PayPal, I don't know, we'll see. You guys let me know your thoughts. Is there a certain place online that does gift cards that you would like? I think ColourPop has gift cards. I was gonna do specific brands, but then I thought people might just like general just gift cards for anywhere um, that you might be able to use this holiday season or if you need anything or anything like that. So head to my Instagram, those will be coming up. That girl Shay so I am so nervous for today's video, you guys. We're gonna be doing the one dip challenge. I've gotten so many requests for this and I'm always super late to challenges and I feel like this one I'm like, I think I'm kind of like a month off, but still, a lot of you wanted to see it. I saw it in the comments this week, so we're gonna be doing that today. And if you're unfamiliar, it's basically you get one dip of everything. Like in an eyeshadow palette, you get one dip of shadow for both eyes. Foundation, one dip. You know, everything is a one dip thing. Eyebrows is what I'm probably most nervous for because mine are so wonky and it takes me a long time. So scared about that. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna first start with the face today. So for primer, I'm gonna take the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And if it's pump, I guess it would just be one pump. Oh, that wasn't very much at all. That was so little. What am I to do? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... There was like hardly in that pump. Does that even count? Basically, all I could do was prime my cheeks and like the center of my forehead. This was pitiful. Wow, that's awkward. Okay, now that my cheeks are primed and that's about it, let's move on to foundation. For foundation, I'm going to do the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. This is the shade 170. Ugh, I'm really nervous it's gonna be too dark, but I don't I don't feel like I don't have anything lighter in a pump. Oh no. I love this foundation. I feel like no one talks about it anymore. This is the Light Illusion by, why can't I see the brand on it anywhere? Was this Flower Beauty, I thought? Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Porcelain L1. Again, it's a pump, so I'm just going to do one pump, and I think, oh my god, that's nothing! I think I'm gonna keep with my fingers because the brushes and sponges always absorb makeup, right? So I think I'll get a better shot if I use my fingers, and I'm going to specifically place it on my problem areas first. This is not a lot! Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I watched Nikki's and James Charles videos. I actually think they both did pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna compare. Dang it, and this is really, really light coverage, so this was probably the worst possible choice. Blending it in. This is not enough. You guys know I'm like a multi-dipper into my makeup. I can feel the makeup like weirdly grabbing certain areas where my primer is and then not anywhere else. This has been a bad choice of products so far. Great products, bad choice of for a one dip challenge. I'm not too worried about under my eyes because we still have concealer and I can still do a little bit of coverage with concealer. Hopefully this won't be too tragic, but I had really big plans for this look and now I'm sad because I know I'm gonna waste like a beautiful look on a shitty job, you know what I mean? This is just not enough for my liking. <laughs> Is like no coverage at all. Do people really only do one pump? Can you imagine what a life you must live if you only need a pump of foundation? That must be nice. Okay, this is like the last little bit I have left. Where should I go? Probably just continue on my problem area. Well, that was not enough. <laughs> Next for concealer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 130. Now, since this is a one dip, um, I guess I can only use what's on the brush already, which luckily I think is gonna be a decent amount. So let's get under the eyes first. First. And I wanted to use this like for the rest of my problem areas, but I think it's gonna be too light But let me just go ahead and take whatever is on this brush and I think I'm gonna stick Yeah, I'm basically just putting it all over my face as if it was my foundation I think I'm gonna stick with my fingers. I look insane because like I said the brush is going to absorb the product So I think this is probably best I don't know how James got his to look so good because he had all that orange color corrector on and I was like, oh my god, how will he ever cover that up with one pump of foundation? I almost don't believe it. I almost don't believe it. Maybe he really is that great, but I don't know how he managed that. My god, this is a little too light to be all over my face the way that it is. If you guys know of any other fun challenges you would like me to do for Seamus, let me know. I feel like I finally have time to do all these challenges, so I, I would love to do some more. They're just fun. My god. Blending is taking forever and my hand is like getting tired. <laughs> this is not my 
finest moment, I will say. I've had finer. So what do I do for powder then, for my translucent powder? Just like one tap into the lid, is that the rule? Okay, I have my translucent powder and my lid. So, I mean, there's a little bit in here, but I try to get as much out as possible. So I guess it's just, that was not a lot. James Charles got so much more out. How did he do it? Witchcraft, I swear to you. Okay, I'm taking a little puff and just the powder I have in my cap. Oh my God, this is so terrible. It's looking so bad. First and foremost, setting it under my eyes because I crease like crazy. Hope there's some left on the sponge and place it everywhere I can. And then just taking the little bit that's left and gonna try to set the rest of that. This is not cute. Did anyone else have like a really good one of these? Like who actually did a great makeup job? I'd love to watch more. So if you have a specific one in mind, someone who did really well, let me know. That's like all the powder, no! I need so much more powder. Dang it. I feel sticky. I hate feeling wet on my face. All right, nothing we can do, we're moving on. Okay, let's move on to brows so I can try to somehow start feeling semi-attractive. I need an angled brush because we're gonna be doing cream and I never do cream pots for brows anymore. Like I'm a straight pencil girl these days. I'm nervous and I've never even used this one. I don't think, not recently anyway. This is the e.l.f. Um, lock on liner and brow cream and brow cream. And I have an angled brush here. Oh, okay. That's like too much. Am I able to take any off? I guess I can put some on the back of my hand for the time being. Okay, let's go. I hate, oh no, this is too dark for me. I'm a pencil girl. This is too much. Oh my God, this is too much. I need to get more off. I actually got too much. So I guess that's better than not enough. Or is it? I don't know. And then fill in. Okay, it could be worse. And that is really harsh. I do not like brows that dark on me at least. Some people looks great, not so much on myself. This is my troubled brow, as I'm sure you could tell. Oh my God, this is awful. So I'm so used to being able to do it with my pencil and I have it down like to a science with my pencil, but with cream, I am a mess. Oh no. Oh my God, I suppose I'm allowed to have a Q-tip, right? To try to fix up that smudge there. Cause I'm not adding anything, I'm just trying to remove. Oh man. What did I do? I hate this challenge. I hate it. Oh my God, and it's all dried up on my hand now. Oh my God, I can't do this whole video with busted brows. Are you kidding me? I look like an idiot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's not fair that everyone who did this challenge already had like perfect brows to begin with. This is really hard. I'm a monster. Okay, I'm walking away from the brows. That's as good as they're gonna get. Dang it. <sighs> okay. Okay, now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be doing the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Thought this would be fun to break out again. Oh, this is gonna be tough though. One dip, ooh, I gotta think about my brushes smartly here. Okay, I'm first gonna go into Momentum. Okay, so how much pressure can I put on a dip? Oh, it's like not a lot. This is, I honestly actually thought I was gonna kill this and I think I'm wrong. Okay, real quick there. Real quick here, I'm trying to get an even application. I don't, I feel like I didn't even get enough for it to show. Damn, I think we're gonna have to change directions of the look I wanted to do. I need to not cover such a bold, big area. We gotta keep it like sleek and thinner. We know this going forward. Next, let's go into Karma right here. First dip, okay. And I'm gonna kind of do James Charles method of kind of applying both. So there's some color on both and then start the blend. Wow, one dip of eyeshadow is not a lot. Go figure, right? This is like barely showing. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. How will I even make a thumbnail for this? Like it's gonna be hideous. I'm just trying to blend it the best I can to get it to look somewhat purposeful. It looks like I have an eye infection. My God. Okay, I think we're gonna need another color in the transition. Let's go into off balance. I said balance, <laughs> off balance right here. Oh crap, I almost started just like dabbing away. So I'll just lift up. That is not a lot of eyeshadow. Oh my God. And this I just want in this inner half. My look is gonna be so busted. There's like now no shadow on this eye. Ah, uh, no, no. No! This is just gonna have to be like a very purposeful, like minimal eyeshadow look. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job. I want one more shot at a crease color. One more shot. So let's go into Crash. Yeah, 
crash right here. One dip. That is not a lot, people. That is not a lot. Okay. I should have done what James did and went with bolder colors so that they kind of spread more. Drats! Am I allowed to do one dip? This is a flat, a new flat brush. One dip into a more pigmented shadow and place it. Okay. Place it. Oh no. How did James get his so vibrant and colorful? I think those were some heavy handed dips. One more. Now we're going to go into Vortex. One dip. Oh my god, this is way harder than I ever expected. Oh, and this part's hard because like this brush is on a certain angle that feels weird to this eye because it's, you know, an angled brush. So normally I'd go back in with the opposite side for this eye. This is so hard. I don't know how James got so much pigment on his. Now I'm going to dip my finger. Now again, I had this look planned out and now I know it's not going to look good at all, but I'm going to stick with the plan. We're going to dip into Nebula. One dip. Hopefully this is enough for both eyes. This is like the only smart thing I've done so far is using one, one of these creamier shadows. <laughs> so you get a little more push out of it. And then I'm going to do one dip into Galaxy. Okay, I think we'll be okay with this. On the inner corner. Dang it, I needed more for this eye. But if I kind of try to blend this one away, maybe they'll match up. It's okay. It's not hideous, but it's definitely not my best work. For under the eye, I'm going to attempt to blend in, um, trying to get, trying to, I guess hot mess would be best because it's the most pigmented. And so I'm hoping that'll show up the most. Yeah, here we go. This was so tricky. This is the worst makeup I've ever done in my whole life. And I'm also just for fun going to dip into haze, little pop of color right down here. This is so ugly. I hate my face right now. Okay. Eyeshadow is done. There's like nothing else I can do about it. I'm just sweeping away the fallout here. I've never looked worse. Okay, next for eyeliner, the best way I guess would be a gel or a cream. So I have the Rimmel black eyeliner. I'm hoping it's not all dried out. I haven't used it yet, but I don't know how long it's been in my drawer for. So get one dip of this and oh, it's really, okay. I, I was gonna attempt to wing it, but I don't think we can. I'm just gonna start out like kind of just trying to, oh my God, I think it's dried out. Trying to deepen along the lash line. So we get some effective eyeliner, except I think this is dried out. Oh my god. I am so embarrassed. This looks so bad. And I guess I can't tight line either, can I? Because this was like one dip eyeliner. Normally I'd go back in for tight line, but I guess we can't. So that's it. That was terrible. Next, mascara. I'm going to use my NARS uh, Climax mascara and it's only one dip so it's whatever's on the brush so let's really work it in there hope a good amount comes out and that's it that's what we're working with can you guys believe this eye makeup i am so sorry to huda beauty i made your beautiful eyeshadow palette look so bad i love that palette and i made it look so bad you guys i am so naive i really thought i was gonna slay this challenge i will say so far mascara is the only thing that's actually coming out okay because luckily it's a giant brush with a really good formula and so I feel like I'm getting a decent amount. And now the lower lashes. Oh yeah, this mascara has gotten me far. Enough for lower lashes as well. I look so bad. This is probably my least favorite challenge. I'm at least trying to just build up the lashes nicely. So I feel like a good lash fixes everything. And I'm not doing falsies. I think falsies is cheating because I don't remember seeing James Charles like do only one dollop of lash glue for both lashes. Just next thing you know, he had lashes on. And I was like, um, sir, I do believe that's cheating. Like any makeup can look good with false lashes on it. I can like feel the mascara wanting to transfer onto my lower lid my under eye area because I don't really have that set very well. It is what it is. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Private Island Bronzer. Oh, this is going to be too dark for me. Taking my Sigma F23 brush, one dip. Does that count? Was that cheating because it was a swirly swirl? Not a lot came on, just so you know. So first, oh, maybe I'll be, oh, it's so orange. This was a bad choice. Kind of place it where I want it real quick. This was a bad choice. There's no way anybody's is worse than mine. There's just no way. This is the worst. But I feel like it's because I'm not cheating. I'm playing very fair. That's like nothing. There's no bronzer left on this brush. That was not enough. Ugh. I hate this challenge. Okay, blush. This is Strawberry by Laura Mercier. Not that it even matters at this point because I look like a mess. Okay, one dip. That is barely anything. Hmm. 
I am so sad. I don't think I've ever complained so much in my entire life, but this is hideous. My thumbnail is gonna look like shit. For highlighter, I'm gonna do liquid because I thought that I could get a decent amount. This is Makeup Revolution's Champagne. And so if it's a one dip, but it's a liquid, I feel like just one drop then. One squeeze of the tube here and boop, that's it. And that's probably gonna be more than enough because quite honestly, a highlighter will not fix this situation. This is a bad look all around. Like silliness aside, these are gorgeous highlighters. Do you guys use these? Honestly, at this point, I feel like highlighter is going to make it worse because I already have like no makeup on my face. So it's just gonna be a weird patchy mess. <laughs> da, 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 da. A little on the cheek. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to do a little on the inner corner just because I hate this eye more than anything in the world. And I'm trying to salvage it a little bit. I didn't wanna do a shitty job. That's why I'm like actually getting pissed off <laughs> because I didn't wanna do a bad job. I wanted to do a good job. I don't know how James and Nikki's looked so good. This is a nightmare. Lastly, for lips, we're gonna be using NARS Co Cosmule, Cosmule um, Velvet Lip Guide or Glide or something like that. I just took it straight out, no pumping. This is like the only thing that'll go, okay? And then we have to set this beautiful look, duh. So I'm gonna take my Milk Hydro, Hydro Grip and Set Spray. One spray, I don't even know where to angle it for one spray, I guess just, it feels so off because I know I didn't feel any moisture hit my forehead. I only felt it like hit my mouth. The eye is somewhat pretty except for the smudgy, terrible eyeliner. I actually rather like the softness of the eyeshadow, but the blend is just looks terrible. It could have been actually executed better with more product and probably be a semi-decent makeup look. My foundation makes me want to cry. You know how much I love bronzer. I feel so naked without it right now. This is just the worst. This is the worst. So you guys, that is it for my one dip makeup challenge. I hope you enjoyed this video a lot more than I did. I did not care for this, not whatsoever. I thought it was gonna be super fun and then it was actually super frustrating and super annoying and I'm super mad at how bad this looks. I don't even wanna put it on the internet. I hate it. But I guess that's the fun in challenges, right? So send me your other challenges you guys would like to see this month. I'm determined. The next challenge, I will win. I will do very, very good. I'm determined. This one was terrible. I hate it. <laughs> If you guys have channels out there, please do this yourself and send me your videos. I would love to see your attempts at this. I tag all of you, okay? If you have a channel, do it. I want to see it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!